everyone, I'm Meredith and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm so excited that you've found me and if you're returning, I'm so grateful you've decided to come back and watch more. I love all things luxury. I love luxury shoes, I love luxury handbags, luxury lifestyle and vlogging and if they're things that appeal to you, I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below and join me here. Today is a very special day. Today I am unboxing my most expensive handbag ever. And it blows my mind to even say how much this handbag cost, but, and I, and I usually don't do prices on this channel, but for this one, I think you should know how expensive these bags are, but it is so, so stunningly beautiful and I love it. And it is so perfectly me that for me, it has been worth the money and the incredibly long wait to get it. So this was a custom made bag. I went to an event, they showed me samples, I chose them, I chose what I wanted, it went off, it was made specifically for me and now it is back. So yeah, let's unbox this amazing, amazing handbag that has just arrived. I have seen it, I went into store to pick it up I saw my sales associates, I saw the store director, the store director came down and saw me and said, I have never seen a handbag that screamed Meredith more than this handbag. So I am so, so happy that I made good choices, especially given how expensive this bag was. Um, and that everyone can see that knows me that this is very much me. So let's open it up. So it comes in this very big box and and it has at the end of it the little Florida lease which tells you what's in the box because there's only one type of handbag that gets this box we open it up and we have a care booklet what are you? Oh, it's a note. <laughs> oh, I'll read it to you. Uh, I'll read it to you now. Why not? So, dear Meredith, Gwen, because that's what I've named this bag, Gwen, has finally arrived. She's definitely worth the wait. Honestly, the most stunning exotic I've ever seen in all my time at LV. Love from, they've listed my two sales associates. So yeah, I am, yeah, <laughs> it's nice. I'm, and I understand that people will say, oh, they would say that about anything. Yeah, I don't know they would. I know these two men pretty well. Um, and yes, I'm sure they, they could be polite if they didn't think it, but um, I saw their excitement when I opened this and I know how excited they were too. So let's open it up. Oh, that comes off. So we have an embroidered dust bag, which tells you what kind of thing is in it. Um, and we've got another little dust bag in there. And then we have a raincoat. <laughs> it comes with its own little raincoat. So this was very well packaged. So you know that with Louis Vuitton, they usually just throw the dust bags in there and they rattle around without any other packaging. This was very well packaged because we wanted to be very careful with it because <laughs> it was so expensive. <laughs> Um, so let's put this over here. Let's put a little raincoat down there. To be honest, if it starts to rain, I'm not taking this out. <laughs> like there's no chance. If there's any chance it's going to rain, this bag is not going out. And we all know that I'm not particularly precious with my handbags. <laughs> this one I'm probably going to be a little bit precious with. <gasps> all right. So you can see the dust bag has the embroidery on it, which tells you it's an exotic. It is an exotic. Um, and realistically, if it wasn't exotic, it would never have cost this much money. And it's got the extra little tab on it <clears throat> for this dust bag. So let's open it. I can see it through. It's so stunning. It is so stunning. And I love it so much. Are you ready? This is my Capucines BB in Croc. And it is in this amazing 
phenomenal, stunning, purple and green, um, ombre, I don't even know what you'd call it, it's iridescent, it's got a white background, it looks like white denim, oh, it's just, I just, I can't, I can't even describe this finish to you, it is amazing, let me get it as up close as I can. So you can see with the lights, the iridescence that it throws. You can see this purple and green and it's just beautiful. And then if I show you the side, look at those, look at that croc pattern. It's just beautiful. And that's the back and the side and the handle. And I am told that right here is the umbilical point of the crocodile. Apparently that's a thing. And you can see how they've done this phenomenal job with the LV and how they've covered it and how that all links in in this beautiful pattern. They have taken some serious time with this bag and it took a long time to get here. Like this was just over a year in the making. So it has taken a really long time to get here. Um, it has silver hardware because I chose silver hardware. So I chose this finish. So I got this um, pattern in the crock in like a, almost like a paint sample size. Um, and I chose this. I chose that I wanted the BB size, not the mini for this because I wanted to really pack a punch. Um, and then I chose that I wanted the silver hardware. So it's got feet on it. Look at that finish. And then if we open it up, so we've got silver there. And I asked about the interior, if I could do it in a really bright color, and I was told no. So that was the one thing I couldn't customize. So they did it in this silvery finish, which went with the bag. I was told that the artisans will choose an interior that goes with the exterior. It's the only thing I can complain about, that I didn't get to choose a really bright interior because I would have done a purple interior on it. So it has its own little pillows in the Louis Vuitton pattern. Got two little pillows in it. And then it has a plaque at the back just here that has my initials on it. So when I get Louis Vuitton stuff done, I get everything stamped with my initials, not my name. I could have chosen anything I wanted on that, but I chose initials because that's what's on everything else that I own from Louis Vuitton. Um, and I've now mirrored that into Fendi for my made to order. So I'm only using my initials, not my name. Um, so it's like all other capucines. You've got the zipper on the back and then the two compartments in there. Um, so, and that's all leather lined. Everything is leather lined. And then we have the silver hardware on it, obviously. And I do like that they give you little Louis Vuitton pillows. And then we have the strap that goes with it, which is in the same pattern and finish with the same silver hardware. It is a phenomenal bag. So I called this one Gwen. And I've been calling it that since I ordered it because it has such 90s vibes um, and it reminds me of, and don't ask me why, it reminds me of Gwen Stefani back when she was with No Doubt. When, people are going to think I'm insane. When, when I see this bag, that's what I think of Gwen Stefani when she was back with No Doubt and Gwen, I miss you in No Doubt. You were brilliant in No Doubt. Yes, you've had a nice career on your own, but... That Tragic Kim, that um, Tragic Kingdom album is one of my favourites and invokes such strong memories from um, my late teen years that, yeah, I miss you in no doubt. Um, but that's what I see when I see this bag. So that's why it's called Gwen. And I don't name my bags. I don't refer to them as um, male or, or female generally. Um, but with my capucines in the exotics, for some reason, I have now started to name them and that pattern will continue. <sighs> Cost. And you know already because you've clicked into this and I've put it in the thumbnail, this handbag was over 70,000 Australian dollars. 
Mum, if you see this video, I am sorry. You are somewhere currently having a heart attack. <laughs> My mother will die. Um, but yes, this is a phenomenal, phenomenal handbag. When you order these, you um, are quoted a price and that's the price. So if the price goes up in the time frame from when you order it to when you receive it, then you still only pay the amount that you're quoted at the time. That has happened with this bag. So if you were to go and order this bag now, that's what you'd be paying over 70,000 Australian dollars. It's a lot of money. It is a phenomenal amount of money. I understand that. You could, I could buy two cars for that. <laughs> I could, I could go on the most, I could buy a car and go on the most amazing holiday ever. I understand all these things. I do. But this handbag, I love. I love this handbag so much. So yes i understand i'm an insane person i really do and this is most certainly the most expensive handbag in my collection by a long way it will probably always be the most expensive handbag in my collection i cannot see me ever owning anything that is more expensive than this i generally don't do a lot of crocodile but i just love this finish so much i mean it's just so stunning and I love it because I can dress it up or I can dress it down. So I'm currently wearing this dress clearly and I could easy take this and be very casual with this bag. Um, I can dress it up for evening. It's The BB is a good size. I can go either way. Um, the mini I find is really just a nighttime handbag for me. It's not a daytime. The MM is a great daytime. The BB can go either way. You can um, dress it up, dress it down, wear it during the day, during the night. But this finish... Ha lends itself to day or night go either way because you have so many different colors in it i can wear it with a lot of different stuff um i can wear it with plain black i can put it with a green i can put it with a purple because it gives this denim effect it will go great with denim um yeah i just i just love it and like i said my store director said he had never seen a handbag that was more meredith than this one so um i am grateful to him for saying that because i certainly agree i think this is me all day all night inside out these 90 vibes 90s vibes it's all me so yes this is what a very expensive handbag looks like from louis vuitton the capucines I love, um, they're not my first love, but they um, are certainly beautiful handbags and this one especially. Would I do another one? Probably not. I probably won't do another one in croc. I do want an ostrich capucines at some point and ostrich is not as expensive as croc, not by a long way. Um, it probably sits up around the lizard pricing. Um, but I do love my capucines in the exotics, so I will continue to do that. I won't do another croc. I've now got a mini. I've now got a BB. I don't feel the need to do more crocs, but I may eat my words at some point. Something might pop up, um, a finish that I just want to just, you know, I die. I die. <laughs> I saw it and I died. So that can always happen. But for now, I love this handbag. It is going nowhere ever. I will maybe be buried with this one. Um, but yes, it is just stunning. So hopefully you guys love it too. If you have liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. There are lots of things coming up, including Collectionmas. Um, so 24 days of collections through December. So one of my collections every day for 24 days. So make sure you have hit that notification bell so you know when when I've uploaded videos. Please come follow me over on Instagram as well. I put lots up in real time over there. Um, I'm super interactive. There's um, posts about my day-to-day -day life, things that I've got coming up, um, out outfits of the day, all of that kind of stuff. So come, follow, follow, come and follow me over on Instagram. <laughs> I hope wherever you are in the world today, you are having a fabulous day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.